Hi, everybody. Hello there. I don't know if you can see us or not. Can you see us? <laughs> Somebody tell us. Can you see us? <laughs> yeah, it's our fourth anniversary of living in the villages. We left Indiana on December 10, 2018. And we drove and we stayed in Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah, that was a chore for Gizmo in the back end of the car in a little crate. All things were all around him. He was just just crushed by everything. <laughs> but we made it. <laughs> yeah, and we're here. Uh, we moved in. We actually spent our first night on December eleventh, two thousand eighteen. We had no bed. We had no chairs. We yeah. had no Nothing. anything. Nothing. We we slept on the floor. The the the. Uh, no, we threw, we did have some pillows. We brought those in the car and laid down our pillows and blankets pillows. on the floor. <laughs> yeah. So good morning to all of you. Yeah. Uh, I hope you're seeing us. Did anybody tell us? Because I didn't put my glasses on. See, every, every once in a while, I'm going to do this and say, yeah, okay. How's the weather? <laughs> Mike calls Seth. Mike is my right-hand man. Mike, you're watching. Look, look. Look behind us. It is raining. It's dim. It's raining. And we hear thunder. It's actually, I love this. No, I don't. I, I don't do. Love I love a little thunderstorm. And, and Linda, this afternoon, she's supposed to have a photo shoot. Uh huh. Somebody's coming to take pictures of her. <laughs> so uh, her head looks big, doesn't it, compared to mine? Look how big your head looks. That. Look Whoa. at that. Her head's like twice as big as mine. <laughs> I was <move> back. <laughs> okay, very good, Nancy. Thank you for letting us know, Monica. Thanks for your congratulations. Again, no glasses. I'm doing my best here. Hi, Roxy. Thank Hi, God Roxy. I don't have to type. I'm a terrible typist. <laughs> yeah. Rick's down in Deluna. I'm going to put my glasses on. All right. It's supposed I'm to stop raining. They surrender. Say at four. So at four, it's supposed to stop. Lucille, Marianne, May, PJ. Hey, Angela Rasson. Hello there, girlfriend. Angela, you, Angela's <laughs> in a car. She's on her way to Michigan. Oh. You know Angela. She's that super-powered YouTuber that... Uh, does, does fashion over 50. Yeah. One of our good friends. <laughs> She's keeping me fashionable, right? <laughs> Hi, Monica. Doug, Joe, Fran. Okay, uh, Mushki. Mushki is one of our top viewers. Thank you. I'm glad you and your mom watch. By the way, there's a way that I can supposedly set that chat on slow, slow motion. Slow but it's going. And uh, so if I don't say your name. Please don't be mad at me. I want to say your name. Gringo Loco. Y'all see him commenting? His name is Marty. Fashion over 50 is Angela's yeah. name of her show. Eileen. You'd rather have rain than snow, and and Mary Pastor. Yes. Yes. Cindy says hello from Marty and Cindy in Bellevue. Bellevue's a little town just about 10 miles away. We were up there the day before yesterday, weren't uh -huh. we? And Nancy uh, Small said she drove from Orlando to Gainesville yesterday, and she waved to us on the way. I'll be done. <laughs> well, four years ago, we had had a massive garage sale. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I had sold all my tools. Tools are good, though, to sell because if you buy them right and you take good care of them, you're going to get a lot of your money. So I did okay on my tools, but we gave so much stuff away. We had a massive collection of DVDs, didn't we? Oh, my gosh. And we ended up taking them all to the... Salvation Army, uh, Goodwill, Goodwill, Salvation Army. We did a lot of gave things. Them to yes, them. I yes. want them back. I want to watch Lost from beginning to end. Y'all watch that show Lost? Yeah. By the way, I'll tell you my favorite show currently is Curb Your Enthusiasm with Larry David. Jerry is Larry David. I see a few similarities. I see just, a lot. Just a few. Please watch that show. It's yeah, Jerry Curb all Your over. Enthusiasm. <laughs> Fredericksburg, Felicia. Yeah, our, we spent a lot of time in the Fredericksburg area. In fact, we looked before we came here. That was the other retirement community we looked hard at. The one there, uh, yeah. I think it's called Celebration, maybe. Okay. So, it's uh, uh -huh. in Fredericksburg, but we didn't go there because uh, I-95 is a crazy road. Marianne Rose, thank you for the compliment on my hair. Appreciate that. <laughs> well, Marianne, you didn't say much about my hair. <laughs> They uh, it's getting I've got it colored. I'm getting it colored light on the sides. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, my hair used to be fairly red. It was bright red. It was beautiful, beautiful. Judy uh, and Kim and Jeanette and Rich. Rich is a frequent commenter. Hi, Rich. To pay, 
No, it's not no. a toupee, although I can move it around a little bit. Get you some poly dent, put up there, get that toupee on there again. There you go. Good and firm. No, no toupee yet, but we get, I get letters all the time telling me what a cheap, ugly toupee I'm wearing. Thank you very much. Chrissy and Brian from Seminole, Florida. Rick and Brenda from Buttonwood. I love it when we get uh, comments from folks that live here in the Yes, we, I've seen some from Citrus Grove here. I uh, And I forgot where they... What Ronnie Delaplane. Ronnie, he's an ex-Marine. Uh, he yeah. tells me it's high and tight. I like it high and tight. Man, I'm a, I'm a shower and go guy. You know, I don't need much prep. She doesn't either. When it comes to... Uh, nope. Low prep, maintenance. She's prep, very low, low maintenance, maintenance. Low maintenance. Merry Christmas, Joe. Yeah. Curtis is in Alabama. Red's from Connecticut. Jim and Joanne, Doug Thompson. And Don and Jerry are from Osceola Hills. Osceola or Osceola? How do y'all say Osceola, it? Osceola, I say. Osceola. <laughs> Thank you, Simon and uh, Big Daddy Sean. Appreciate it. Uh oh, somebody's waiting for Gizmo's jokes. We're not uh, going to have Gizmo's jokes today. <laughs> He's my, on a break. <laughs> My hair is too nice to be a rug. <laughs> PJ, thank you very much. Oh, Lafise from Houston, Texas. I have relatives down in Conroe. And what's the name of that? Now that's Julie. Thank you, Julie. You are so sweet. We appreciate that. I'll tell you a funny story. I'm just I'm gonna tell this on Mailbag Monday too. Some All of right. you will hear it again. Yes. We went to interview Rocky and Rocky and the Rollers the other night in Brownwood. Great band. Love them. And it was super time. And I took the new microphones that you guys helped me buy with that thanks button. Mm -hmm. And we interviewed them and we came home and I got home and I'm taking off my mic and I'm going to charge it up. And she's taking hers off to charge it up. Yep. And we're charging them up. And I, where's the other one? I said, where is it? Of course, I always blame her. He blames right, me. Right off the bat. Everything. What'd you do with it? Where is it? You're, you know, you're supposed to. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, well, we left it on Rocky. Rocky's yeah. still got a clip to his shirt. And how can we go back and tell him we made a big mistake? He's still rocking uh. down there. He's still performing because we don't stay out until they close it down. And so we got to thinking. I got worried about it. We got behind the golf cart. And I said, let's go back. We're tired. We didn't want to go back. No. And we drove the golf cart all the way to Brownwood, and we're looking for it. And we're, we took a spotlight, and we're yeah. shining on the side of the road. And we get all the way down to the tunnel by Powell Road. There it is, laying in the middle of the road. Yes. And I found it. And somebody had run right over it. Oh, but it, it still all, works perfectly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, we, it's amazing. It's it's just fine. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> it looks nasty, but it but it still works good. So we got it. Yeah. But anyway, thank you all for that super thanks stuff. And Ronnie, thank you. And and Albert Marchionda, I can't thank you guys enough for your generosity. Yeah. Hello from Maryland. I didn't get your name. We got one. Chris from. and Karen in Beverly Hills. Florida. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the other Beverly Hills. Larry Davidson from Beverly Hills. If you watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, <laughs> don't be mad at me after you watch that. It's pretty It's pretty foul sometimes. Here's Greg from West New York. Uh, we Mark have Miller has his wife's aunt lives in Floyd's Knobs. What? We are Floyd's Knobs people. What's your aunt's name? We may know her. Yeah. <laughs> But you have to watch for it because this thing is going. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Here's a Virginia from Tennessee. Hi. Thank you all for watching. Yes. We've got about uh, almost almost 600 people watching. I mean, That's incredible. Yeah, and thank and we're you. We're very thankful. This is a good time, right? Connie says we look beautimous. Beautimous? Uh -huh. I like that yeah. word. I like it. And Christopher is from New Jersey. We have so many New Jersey people. Yeah. We, they're nice up in New Jersey. Very I like nice. them. They, they talk funny though. They can't live. But they're, they're nice. Like, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but they don't. The girls don't pump their own gas. In fact, I think nobody does. In New That's Jersey. what I. Don't heard. they pump gas for they you up there? Yeah. Remember those old days when people would come out and clean your windshield and check your oil and pump yes. your gas and yes, and you didn't tip them or anything. You gave them a dollar fifty for the gas Hi, and drove Jake. away. Jake and Shirley, hello. There's a New Jersey girl. Shirley's Shirley. a New Jersey she girl. Don't pump gas. She, there's no pump in there. <laughs> Oh, so Mark, send us a message who your aunt is. <laughs> I want to know who your aunt is in Floyd Knobs. <laughs> yeah, Tibbs, we found that, Mike. I was so, I was so happy. 
my gosh. She's my finder, actually. Usually, I mean, I, I once in a while I've been known to lose things, and oh, she finds it yeah. almost every time. I tell you where it was. It was in his pocket. He has these little slick little pants on. He got that night, and he had them on, and they, they just slipped out of that side pocket, and that was that was dangerous. This happened to us on our honeymoon in Disney Disneyland at Disney World. Our camera was in his pocket, and it, the camera slipped out. We lost our honeymoon pictures. Lost them. <laughs> Went down the drain. Those pants she's talking about, I bought over at Bell's, which is spelled Beals here in Florida. <laughs> Bell's. And uh, yeah. they look like kind of parachute pants, that, but they gather at the ankles. She doesn't like them. She doesn't want me to wear them. She thinks I look like a sissy. I but don't, I don't, I'm that's, not a fan of them. It's the beauty. When you retire, you can wear anything you want. <laughs> Nobody cares what you wear, uh, wait, especially in the village. Some people care. <laughs> Ronnie says you can't pump your own gas in Oregon. Really? No, everything's electric up there now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there you go. Um, let's see who else is here. Um, Jackie, we're glad you're here, and and I'm so glad you enjoy it because she says she lives here because of us. Oh, we're we're the cause. We're gonna we, we'd have to uh, move or take our little name sign down that we have out front. If people aren't happy, we yeah. have to go incognito. Yeah. Thankfully, we never get nasty comments. Uh, Jesus from people Mar that live here. Yeah, Jesus wants to know if he's excited about our live bloopers. It's going to happen today. There are no bloopers today. <laughs> it's all going to be. You know what? We start. Uh, I know you probably think that we plan those bloopers. We do not. Yeah. In fact, when we start. We always, I always say, no bloopers today. Yeah, he's no telling bloopers. me not to. Bloopers. And then the next thing you know, I'm going blah, 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 making bloopers. Today. And I'm laughing. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you did it, John. I do not miss that snow in Indiana. You guys know that years ago, many years ago, I was a hunter. I wouldn't even kill a bug. Now I take spiders outside and let them go. I used to love to hunt in the snow and the rain, and I love to fish in the rain. But a gentle snowfall when you're out, it's just gorgeous. It's quiet in the woods. It's so nice. Chuck, thank you. You are amazing. Uh, Ron and Lucy from Staten Island just uh, posted. They knitted us a little docks and dog. It's so cute. We still have it. We display it. It's a lovely. Come I here, Gizmo. Uh, he's behind me. He's right here. Oh, okay. He, <laughs> he wanted to get up here with us, but yes, we wanted to give you our full attention today. And, and uh, it was actually very pretty when we set up. Yeah, it was. Are our lights bothering you? You can see we've got two lights set up and you can see, see it right that. there. Here, sit in front of it. No, you Does can't. that bother you? Oh, well. I'll, I'll sit like that. <laughs> don't, don't sit like that. <laughs> see my shirt? Yeah. I used to work at Louisville Slugger. I, in fact, uh, she did too. She was a... Mm -hmm. What were you? I worked in the gift shop. I sold T-shirts and just little knickknacks and patty wax or whatever. And it was it was fun. I worked the cash register and cleaned up and folded shirts. I was a tour guide. I say, yes, this bat was used by Babe Ruth. Ladies and gentlemen, can you see yeah. the notches in the handle? He hit 27 home runs with this bat. Oh, yeah. And it was fun. He was, he was a good tour guide. And I also got to work on the lathe, and I would actually make bats for the tour. All the tour guides do. And uh, that was a lot of fun. It's a past chapter. It's gone, but I kept the shirt. Oh, we got the name. Ann McDonough from Floyd Knobs. McDonough. McDonough. I don't uh, know her. I wonder what street she lived on. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, text us later. <laughs> um, Thank you, Angela. Donna's from Indianapolis, Indiana. We've been there many, many times. Indianapolis. Yeah. You know, I had a camera with a big lens story. I used to, I love to take pictures and I love to take animal pictures and sports pictures. And I've got yeah. some pretty good pictures over the years. Mm -hmm. And I took my big lens and we went to a Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts game. Yeah. We, we, we rented, we got a room at a hotel. We walked a mile and a half to the stadium. I went in and they said, sir, you can't bring your camera in here. I said, what? They yeah. said, well, you can bring your camera, but you can't bring that lens. Yeah, it was so big and it was probably well, being just bothersome to people around you. So, but you can hold up a big foam finger that's four feet tall. Ugh. They didn't want, they were afraid I would take a good picture and I wouldn't buy one in their gift shop. But oh. I, I had to take that lens back to the hotel. Yes. It was crazy. Yeah. Thanks for nothing, Colts. I think we'd end up not even going. <laughs> oh. Mark Miller said he used to love standing outside watching the bats being made when he lived in Lowell. Yeah. His wife worked up the street there. Oh. Yeah, they, it's a really, really nice museum. I highly encourage you to go if you get to Louisville. It's right downtown. Yeah. 
Used to be in Indiana when we were growing up. The Louisville yeah. Slugger factory That's was right. in Indiana. That's right. It was. What was our first day in the villages like? Danny wants to know. Okay. Danny, we were still, <laughs> we were, we were so happy, and it was our heads were still spinning like everybody that moves here, mm -hmm. and we were hoping the movers would come that night, and they did. They came at eight o'clock at night. Eight o'clock. A big truck coming down, and of course everybody's asleep around pitch here. Dark. At it's pitch dark, thirty. It's pitch dark, and they, it's cold. You know, it, it, it's cold for the villages that yeah. night, and they left their motor running the entire time they're outside. Right. Three and a half hours. Oh, our poor neighbors. Oh my goodness, uh, and they didn't leave till about eleven. Mm -hmm. And bless their hearts, they came in, and of course we have white carpeting throughout the house, and you know what? The previous owners did not have, it was advertised in the, um, whatever the, whatever, the, what do they call that? There's a blooper here. Um, anyway, it was advertised as a house that had no shoes. So we thought we'd keep that up too. No shoes in this house. So we decided we'd have to tell these little moving uh, men not to come in our house with shoes. So I made them take on and off their shoes every time they came in for a new, <laughs> new trip. So we we had we used <laughs> Margaret's movers in Louisville, yes. Kentucky. She's very nice, yeah. and we we were one hundred percent happy. They they bring in your stuff and they yeah. set up your you know your tables. They take them all apart. Mm -hmm. They put them back together. They put your beds back together. She said it's eleven thirty at night. Why don't you all stay here for the night and drive back tomorrow? I don't want you to, I to didn't want fall to asleep on the road. Asleep. They were going to head back. Hey, strange man, would you please? Why don't you stay here in our house tonight? I did. That's what she said. And That's kind we, of person I am. I can't help it. Yeah, they they wouldn't though. They got. But we truck. did give them bologna sandwiches. We fixed them up because that's about all we had. But uh, yeah, they did not stay. <laughs> oh, they didn't stay. Funny. Yeah, that was a funny story. But anyway, we we opened boxes the next day, and that went, lasted for what, two weeks? We stayed in our house. Hardly met too many neighbors because we were unpacking. And I wanted to decorate for Christmas. Our son was coming in from the military, and I said, I want this house decorated for Christmas for him. So we unpacked everything and decorated then for Christmas. It was memorable. We, yeah. You know, uh, yeah. it was a good time, and it, it doesn't seem like four years time. No. No. Let me tell you, when you're retired, time flies. It does. It really flies. It Mailbag Monday comes along every Monday, and we get done with one, and next thing you know, boom. Thank you, Chuck. Chuck, You're very nice. Very Thank sweet. you. Very sweet. Appreciate it. We really do. Hey, Paul, how you doing? Paul says, what a whirlwind. Well, Paul had his own whirlwind. He moved from California. Uh, Patricia, I like your suggestion of Jerry wearing a fanny pack and putting all of his equipment in a fanny pack. That sounds like a good plan. He probably won't. No, I don't think I had to go that far. No, no. <laughs> but uh, I, I've been known to wear a fanny pack. <laughs> John is asking when a Costco will be built. I don't know. I've, I, you know what? I've only been in Costco one time in my life. Mm -hmm. We have Sam's and we have BJ's. Yes. We're getting a new Home Depot, though. It's going to be built right up here. Um, on Powell Road. Exciting. That'll be nice. Yeah. How about a White Castle? That is a great idea. I love White Castle. I love mm -hmm. those sliders. <laughs> slide I do. Right I love them. Slide, I don't want right in and slide right out. I don't want cheese on them. I don't want the chicken wing, the chicken rings or no. whatever they I just want the regular ones and I eat about six at a time. <laughs> Donnie boy, how my how's my golf game? I, I'm ashamed to say that I, I'm terrible at golf. No, uh, I, I always have been. No, he's very good. He's he's a long knocker. That ball can go so far. He can almost hit the green from every time. It was amazing. It, yeah. And if he doesn't hit the green, it's going to go way far that way, uh, a country mile. All right. All right. You don't know if you're, you're going too far now. Now, I take spells. I, I love it. I played it 300 times the first year we were here, probably. Yeah, you did. And now yeah. I've played only once in the last five or six weeks. Yeah, it's, it's because uh, I, it, when it's no fun, I've got enough to do. I mean, I'm up at seven every morning answering your emails and and things like that, and I love to do that. And so I don't I don't miss the golf too much, but I'm going to get back out there and give um, it another go here. Judy and Tony are from the UK, and they will be in our in their villa in Hadley. Woohoo! There's Laura from Devon in UK. We love the UK. Mm -hmm. I want to go back. 
door, they've got an exit tax in London. You have to pay. That's not nice. You have to pay a bunch of money to fly away from London. That's, I don't like that. That's not nice. Yeah, but I do. We do love <laughs> London. We spent two weeks there a couple of years ago. We've been there twice, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, it's a it's a really really cool place. We went in the Royal Albert Hall and saw a salute to uh, Queen. Yes. Oh my gosh, that was really an amazing good. concert. It was so nice. Yeah, Scott and Sandy from Westfield, Indiana. I've been there, Scott and Sandy. Westfield? Mm -hmm. I played baseball oh, there when, yeah, back, back in the day. Yeah, absolutely. Costco's going to be built about 30 miles away, Connie says. Well, that'll be good. Jerry, what's your favorite baseball team? Garnet wants to know. When I was a kid, I was all about the San Francisco Giants. I mean, I remember Tom Haller and Orlando Cepeda and Willie McCovey and Tito Fuentes. Jimmy Davenport, and of course, Willie Mays, the best player of all time. Love him. Jim Ray Hart, all the Alou brothers, mm -hmm. Juan Marichal. You know, I know them, uh, San Francisco Giants. But then we moved to Southern Indiana. Well, we, we, we always lived in Southern Indiana. Yeah. But Willie Mays retired, and I switched my allegiance to the Cincinnati Reds. And they were so bad for so long after that that I'm kind of don't even pay attention anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I got my Notre Dame shirt on. We're Notre Dame football fans. Look at this. Judy says, thank you for mentioning us. If you come back to London, we'll treat you to a lovely afternoon tea. We did oh, that, Judy. We went yes. We went for a, a tea with all those little, what are they, macaroons? Yes. Oh, you remember that word. Good for little you. All these little fancy little pastries is really cool. Yes, that was We went fun. to see the queen, too, but she 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 wasn't available. No. But we did watch the... Uh, Guard come in yeah, and all that, that kind of stuff. Really amazing. neat. Amazing. Went to Hyde Park and uh, watched the speakers. That was really neat. Monica's from Henryville. Oh, my goodness. Back home. I hope yeah. she didn't get and any Memphis. tornado damage. There was a big one a yeah. few years ago. Yes. And there's Rodney. Rodney, how you doing? You and Jackie up in Orange Blossom. We're all buttoned down today. Mm -hmm. Go Cubs, says Dr. Falcon. I do like the Cubs. I like the Cubs. I like the Red Sox. I think I'm all Tampa Bay now, though. I mean, we're down yeah. here. We're, I mean, we're Tom Brady to, we're came down here. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this was a nice one. Um, who was it? Let's see. Oh, Teresa one. Titus Lawson. Teresa. Yay. Teresa, you're probably our favorite viewer that we've never met. And we need to meet you, Teresa. We, we gotta, will. And we she said, she said before it'll happen yes. when it happens. Yes. But uh, yeah, she's a lovely lady. We we look forward to meeting her. Gail from Washington D.C. Um, Steve wants us to go live every Thursday. It's okay. Uh, you know, as teachers, you, you guys know how I am if you watch these shows. I mean, I'm a wisecracker. <laughs> I don't ever mean to hurt anybody's feelings or say anything rude or whatever, but yeah, I retired from school at the right time because now all the kids have cell phones and they would have been recording my <laughs> antics, yes. you know, and, and you say things and you don't think they're bad. You find out later it wasn't a good thing to say. And, uh, so we go live once in a while, but please, Keep us from doing anything stupid. <laughs> oh, gosh. There was a comment I wanted to say something. Cheryl Sybil. She was our viewer of the week last week. Oh, yeah. Oh, Cheryl, yeah. Oh, how Cheryl. are you? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> John wants to know, when we film out here in the Lanai, do people pull their golf carts in to watch for mine? That's funny. You know what? These yards in the villages. Let me tell you, people. If you've never been here. You don't really know how small these yards are. They are <laughs> small. There's no room. You you probably couldn't even get a golf cart in our backyard. No. You might no. be able to, yeah. but it's it'd be yeah. they're not big at all. And we don't own very much back there. All those trees belong to our neighbor. Uh somebody asked who was the first person we met here in the villages. I don't um, remember. I do know the man behind us gave us a big old he, he came to the door and knocked and said, Is there anything we need? And I said, Oh yes. We could use some toilet paper. <laughs> it's our first night. We didn't have any. So he brought us like 12 rolls, a whole package of Charmin. I mean, I don't even buy Charmin, but he did. And that, that was lovely. <laughs> what do you mean you don't buy Charmin? We don't. We buy it in an off brand, you know, different brands. Hey, if it, it comes in single ply, we buy it. No single ply. And it was an expensive brand, really. Charmin is. So anyway, here we're talking about toilet paper. Lightning. So anyway, yeah, I thought I saw lightning. But um, anyway, we thank him, and uh, that was uh, Bruce. Well, we him. got the fried chicken from the lady across yeah. the street. We, we got flowers. We had some candy brought down. Yeah. First day. Yeah. Of course, all these people, they're wanting to see who's moving in. Yeah, who, they Who's do. moving into our neighborhood. Yes. Yeah. You know, 
they're they are friendly, but uh, and and we've made some good friends here. Yeah. Uh, Kim. Kim, thank you. Oh, Holy see. mackerel! Let me put my glasses on. Kim, you're Kim Wolf. Very generous. Thank oh you. Oh my gosh! Sweetheart. Thank you so much. Aww. And here's a Joan from uh, Maryland. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> and Amy from Virginia. Wow. Virginia, we were we uh, went many times. We said Fredericksburg earlier, but we we hung out in the yeah. Quantico area quite right, a bit. Right. And I'm a Washington D.C. fanatic. I love Washington D.C. We had another son. Yeah. Our Navy son lived and worked at the Pentagon, so he lived in Arlington, actually Alexandria. And we we've been to Washington D.C. forty times, I bet. Oh, we have. We yeah. we love D.C. Yeah, I do. You could be a tour guide there. <laughs> Hey, are we back? We're, are we backwards? Or are we correct on your screens? I think they're correct. See, this is what you're seeing there. Okay. Yeah. I was so worried this wouldn't happen. I'm glad you can see us. Dell says, when you interview people about things regarding Social Security, can you ask how it works in regards to those on SSDI? There's so little good information. You know what? We, when we get suggestions like that, I try to file them away so that I can uh, mm -hmm. come back to them later yes. and, and help you out. I do want to ask you all a question. Uh, we, you know, we've never said this on YouTube, I don't think. But we had a cruise last summer. We kept it very small. So I only mentioned it on Facebook. Yeah. We took 70 people on a cruise. And we're going on another one in February, and we're taking about 120 people. But if we do this again sometime, where would you as viewers, would you be interested? And where would you like to go? Would you rather go on a cruise would you rather go on a land tour? You know, we took a land tour of Europe one time. That was just fantastic. It was incredible. Would you rather stay in the U.S. and go on a bus tour? Let us know what kind of things would appeal to you guys, and uh, we will we'll discuss it. Yeah, that would be kind of fun. We'll be going all over the place. Mark says, thanks to you. We're now residents of Richmond. Thank you. Well, Mark, I hope you you love it. That's going to be a good location. New Hampshire. You know, that's amazing, isn't it? How many different locations mm -hmm. we have Australia, we have Guam, we've got the Philippines, right? We, you know, England is, is good. Canada. Uh, it's just really neat to see where everybody's from. Here's the post. Catherine B. Europe. Wow. Paul and Deborah are going to be moving into our neighborhood in Dunedin soon. So, Hey, drive by and yell at us. <laughs> <We're out>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rodney says, uh, students ask him one time why he wasn't teaching, and he said he's too strict and off-topic. <laughs> off-topic. Well, yeah. Linda's kind of a squirrel. You know, she, and everything she sees is a new subject, even yeah. if we're deep yeah. in the conversation. Mm -hmm. But I'm kind of the same way. I'll talk about anything, anytime to anybody, except mm -hmm. politics. Nancy asked if we're running out of ideas for videos. No, Jerry has a list about this long and it's just getting through them and just making them happen. No, we have a good list. But if you all have any more ideas, just pass them to us. We'll be glad to check them out. Absolutely. <laughs> and there's Natalie. Now, Natalie is one of our favorite viewers and she was a viewer of the week and she suggested Alaskan cruise. I've been to Alaska three times. I love it. Uh, so maybe the, I've never been on a cruise there, though. So maybe that's a good idea. Ronnie says a golf Hawaiian cruise. A golf cruise, yeah. I've never, we've never, we've been, to never Hawaii. been to Hawaii. Never been there. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. <clears throat> Dell is from uh, Colorado, one of our favorite states. We love Colorado. Love Colorado. Our youngest son went to college there, and we visited him. Yes. Five or six times, probably while he was out yeah. there, and it's just a beautiful state. I wouldn't want to be there right now, though. No, be cold and snowy. Mushki wants to know where the next cruise is. February 4 through 11, we're going on the big symphony of the seas into the Caribbean. So we're looking forward to that. Sarah and her pets say hi from Long Island. There's a lot of people here from New York, Sarah. DC with Jerry on the bus. I would love to, I could take, I could be your tour guide in DC. We could go around and okay. I could point out all the things. I love it. Moy Moy ask a question. Are you all going to play pickleball? And that's a yes for Jerry. <laughs> I, I like pickleball. Yeah. I fell last week. Yeah, I did. It was a little crazy. She, she's never come to watch. She never has. But that yeah. one day she came. Yeah. 
And she's actually videoing. I am videoing. But she's a terrible video person. <laughs> I'm, and, the I'm the worst. No offense. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I'm playing and I really think, you know, I'm full of myself. Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to smash the ball and I'm trying to be, you know, good. <laughs> they lobbed one in and this lady over there and I was just getting ready to crush her. And I swung and the next lost minute, my balance. I fell down and hit my head on the Next minute he's asphalt. down flat and I'm going, did he plan that? Was that for a joke or what? And I can, are you okay? <laughs> I thought he was doing it for a comedy relief or something. Did you bash your head on the concrete <laughs> as purpose. a joke? I didn't see you hit your head. And the lady, everybody came running from all courts, came over to help him. And he got up. He was fine. But they said he hit his head. He was quite embarrassed. But uh, he was fine. He didn't. Sally said problems. we're the first show she ever watched on from California, our first YouTube show. Really? She's wow. an old speech teacher, and she Aww. says we've improved. <laughs> Thank you. I'll tell you what doesn't improve. Once you're a teacher and you are doing everything grammatically correct <laughs> and you're being very precise in your punctuation and your grammar, and then you retire and 10 years later you're like, ain't this great? <laughs> no, you know? we don't do Yeah, we're hillbillies. <laughs> Someone asked, what is your favorite TV golf course? This, well, I'll tell you, but this Mindy said I could do a tour of Mount Vernon in that area. I love Mount Vernon. Yes. We've been there a bunch of oh, times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What'd you say? They want to know your t favorite TV golf course, I guess. TV is the villages. Oh. The villages. No, that's not what they say. Did yes, they? it is. All right. Which yes, one? It is. <laughs> okay, the villages golf That could be a blooper. <laughs> that was a blooper. Cut that one out. Uh, first of all, I'm an executive golfer because I don't, I don't like to pay $60 to play golf or. Or if you have a priority membership, it's in the 40s. I can play free at 45 executive courses. So my favorites are probably Volusia. Mm -hmm. That's got a, a par four, and it's a beautiful scenic course. Sweet Gum is a, one of my favorites. Um, we, the ones within a short drive of our house are all nice. They're, mm -hmm. all, they're all really beautiful courses. For the championship courses, I like the Bell Glade courses because they're five minutes away. Right. But uh, Bonifay is good, and I love Mallory Hill. You've got lots of retaining walls and hills. and Pretty good. Yeah. Shelly Young's going to move here in 2029. That's a long way away. Seems like it, doesn't it? Now? Well, it, it won't, you know, the, it does go fast. I know. You know it's only I six know. and a half years away. I need to plug this in. Well, oh, no, it's fine. Okay. She's got 30%. She's reading questions on an iPad. I want to know if we can print these out, all these comments. I don't know. There's a way to print all this out because I would like to save it. William, you say he says we seem to have so much fun with each other. We do. <laughs> and then there's some days we don't, like everybody else. <laughs> but mostly we have a lot of fun together. <laughs> I had to fix my own supper last night. He did. I went to a play. She was out gambling. I went and played samba. We weren't gambling. We were playing samba. And it started at five. We had a pitch in. Everybody brought a little dish. And then usually we play at six o'clock when I start at five. But he, Jerry, I didn't say goodbye. He was resting his eyelids. <laughs> One of the most beautiful things about retirement is you can take a nap anytime you want. <laughs> And I happened to be taking one, and she slipped out, and I didn't see I her for six out, hours. I slipped out at five instead of six, and mm -hmm. he didn't know, and I didn't leave a message. So he goes, I don't know where you went when I got up. So, no, I didn't get home until after almost 10 o'clock last night. So he had to fix his own dinner. Poor Jerry. But I had you know, frozen meatballs. You could have Spam. You had some beef stew in there. I'm good. Got, I, I can take, a I'm a big boy. I can take care of myself. <laughs> he can. He can. <laughs> Paul wants to know if any of our – Past students uh, have seen me or kept in contact. Uh, there's always a few. And uh, just two days yeah. ago, I got a, just a surprise message from one of them. And uh, yeah. he's an up and coming musician. And he's really, uh, he's a, a country music performer. And um, I, I really enjoyed hearing from him. And every mm -hmm. once in a while we do, not a whole lot. Yeah. I had kids in junior high. Yeah. By the time they get to senior high, they forgot everything yeah. they ever knew. Well, I have one little uh, fellow that I had in kindergarten, and he has grown up, and now he's in high school, maybe junior or senior year, maybe. And he, I saw a post on Facebook, and he's grown into a lovely young man, and he's like a he's on a wrestling team, and he is like huge now. And it, sometimes when they grow up from five years old 
till they're adults. And then they, do you remember me? Uh, no, I don't remember you because they changed so much. But uh, he's he's a lovely young man. And Seth, hi, Seth, if you're watching. But anyway, uh, we do not see our kids very often. Jay Ryback, uh, he's a frequent commenter. He's good with the Photoshop, too. He made me up on the roof and he's put an alligator on my head and everything. Oh, yeah. Sends me these things. He wanted to know if Gizmo rehearses his jokes or whatever. <laughs> Uh, he, he, I know he checks his emails every day and, uh, I don't know if he rehearses them or not, but, uh, he does a pretty good job. Yeah, he's good. He's good at those jokes. Angela says, why didn't I eat beef stew last night? And why didn't I? I don't I know. should have. I didn't think of it. Mm -hmm. that, that it. Yeah. I love that, uh, great value beef stew. Yeah. He puts it on bread. It's delicious. <laughs> it well, she doesn't think so, but I have Yeah. Um, tornado warnings where Connie is. Well, stay safe, Connie. Yeah. <clears throat> Chris Bennett wants to know if he can send me an email. Yeah, Chris. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, all of you, every one of our videos, mm -hmm. if you look down in the comments, there's our mailing address. Right. There's our email address. And it's villagesnewcomers at gmail.com. So you can send an email anytime you like. And it's always helpful if you if you want to include your phone numbers. Sometimes, if we get a really involved email that I don't feel like typing for 45 minutes, I would rather just call you and give you an answer. So, if you want to put your contact information, that's great. This one, this is a great question. Laura says, "I would love to see your sons on a video someday. Do they know how much you are all loved from all over the country?" And you know what? They watch uh, a little bit, but they're so busy. They're in the military, so they're super busy. But they, when they did come visit a couple times and we went down to the square, they were a little shocked when they saw people come up and say, we know you. You're the reason we're here. They were kind of going, what? <laughs> so, yeah, they, they're a little bit amazed. Well, only one out of three watches, really, with any regularity. Yeah. And he's he's the oldest, and he gives me a lot of suggestions. He gives us tips. Yeah. <laughs> Jen wanted to know if we were the same grade in school. We're, we are the same age, mm -hmm. but we were one grade apart. I was a grade ahead of her. Yes. My, my mom couldn't wait to kick me out of the house at five years old because I, evidently <laughs> I was a hellion. But uh, <laughs> we're, we were in the same school. About five or six hundred in a graduating class, yeah. so it's a pretty good sized school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just about forty-five days apart in age. <laughs> Can they see our Christmas tree? Well, no, we'd have to turn the cameras all over. We'll take a picture of it. We'll we'll do a Christmas show with us by the tree next week, I think. So you'll see it. Yeah, and Christmas in the Villages is nice. I mean, you've seen some little clips I've done of the trees. The night cameras don't really do it justice. And I mean, I want, I'm want i still planning on going out and driving around and taking a picture this year. More and more people are getting those Jojo trees that I showed you last week. Oh, this person's from Australia, and they watch us very regularly. They, they're one of the viewers. Oh, exciting. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah. But like I said, we'll, we'll try to get you some videos of the Christmas. Do we remember our first date? Well, I'm not, I don't want to get into too much detail here. Don't get into too much detail here. I don't, uh, you're going to have to tell it. We, we were, uh, I was with a buddy yeah. and, and we had some mutual acquaintances. And, you know, back then when there weren't any rules regarding seatbelts and they had a station wagon and there were probably eight people in the wagon already and we picked up these gorgeous twins and there was nowhere for her to sit so she had to sit on my lap and the rest is history <laughs> and uh, that was our first thing and uh, yeah. anyway we went to a dance that yeah. was fun <laughs> i remember that <laughs> so that's for janet hope uh, thank you janet <laughs> merry christmas again again we want to wish everybody out there especially albert you you said merry christmas but all of you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Mm -hmm. And uh, Hanukkah starts uh, on the 18th. So uh, Happy Hanukkah to you. To, yeah. to you. Uh, well, Doug Doug said that his wife, Debbie, is a lot like me and that he, he and you have to talk about us. So, hey, Debbie, you're my kind of girl, huh? <laughs> Ron Pass said, uh, and we know Ron. In fact, we're going to have lunch with Ron tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But he said... Tell people about the weather today because it, you couldn't play pickleball today. 
Ron, you're not exactly right, is he? Why? You you want to play pickleball in this rain? Well, do, is it going to rain all day? Well, oh, you're right. It may not be raining this afternoon. So pretty you much. You told me it was going to stop. About 4 o'clock. Someone said it was going to it's going to stop around four. You so. told me nine thirty. Well, we've had, I've asked again. It's it's it's. She uh, told me it was going to stop at nine thirty. Yeah. Well, it's uh, now. You can't trust a weatherman it's anyway. Ten thirty. I, I swear you it's cannot. Not stopped. <laughs> but you're right. It may tonight may be absolutely glorious. Lucille, thank you. She's been watching a long time. Linda loves your that name, Lucille. I do. I do. I like the name Lucy. I do, and I like the name Clara. I wanted a granddaughter named Clara. <laughs> Cause, thank you. Cause is one of our longtime viewers, and Elaine Skursky. Thanks, Elaine. Appreciate it. Just Mindy, you know, so many of you, and we've never met, and I don't know what you look like, but <laughs> I do recognize you as dear people. Mm -hmm. And so, if we don't call your name, it's just because it's scrolling like a big dog. Right. Here. And Liz is from St. Louis. So, and she's going to, she lives actually in uh, St. Catherine, but she's going to St. Louis for wedding. Oh, thank you for hitting that uh, thanks button. We appreciate that. Here's Albert. Albert. Albert, we love you. Now, Albert, Albert is such a giver. <laughs> thank you, Albert. Such a giver. Oh, you're so sweet. And there's Hal. Now, Hal and Jen, uh, we know we, we've never met them, but they're going on the cruise, so we will oh. meet them pretty soon. And they're great viewers, too. Oh, Garnet asked, when was the first time you got recognized in the villages? I do remember going into Walmart Marketplace in the grocery store and someone yelled, Linda. And, and I went, you know, kind of like that. And then that was, I think, one of our first times, right? And we even got recognized outside the villages at a restaurant one time. And that was really shocking because it was like a good 20, 30 minutes away from here. And I thought, really? Somebody out here knows my name? It was incredible, just incredible. But yeah, we thank everybody that stops and says hello. We appreciate that. And we like talking to you. Thanks, Mindy. I wondered what that, I thought you were like you were from uh, Flatbush or something going, Dis Mindy. But the Diz is Disney. So oh. we got gotcha. <laughs> you. Yeah. And Kim is from Glen Burnie, Maryland. We used to fly into BWI all oh, the time yes. Yes. when our boys went to college at uh, the Naval Academy. And when we go to Washington, D.C., we fly into Baltimore sometimes. Tamara, thank you. She says she lives, moved here because of us, and she loves it. We appreciate that. Ronnie says he saw his wife, Jackie, across the roller rink. Oh. Yeah, she says that she's a nice girl. She is a nice girl. They told him to leave her alone because she's a nice girl. <laughs> Walmart Marketplace is not, you know, we, we pump it up, right? We even put the old GoPro on and went in. They're kind of they've kind of gone down a few steps for me. I went in there the other night with a big order. I got a big order. Uh huh. Oh yeah. And I went to check out, and there were zero cashiers. Zero. No, no. I think that's Walmart. We had two carts over. full, didn't we? We had two carts full. Yes. Two people, two carts full. That <laughs> makes sense, huh? Uh -huh. We had to go to the self scan. Two carts full. Come on. Oh my goodness. Where is Gizmo? Gizmo's in a little bed right beside. Right, right beside. there. He's, He's right asleep, next to us. Sound asleep on the floor. Why don't you give him a, bring, bring him up for a little. I'll give you know. him some air. Yeah, this one's an interesting one. Somebody wanted us to do a front front lawn uh, show, and then they can pull up in their golf carts and maybe have Don <laughs> Wiley fly his drone to document the show. Cool idea. Don Wiley is our buddy, and he is a very helpful guy, and he's always ready to pitch in when we need help, and we appreciate him very much. Here's, here's baby. Are you asleep? Here we go. People want more cart rides. We love to do the cart rides. Mm -hmm. They're they're a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah. We'll do some more. But we don't, we don't want to take you on the same cart rides. I'd love to take you to Spanish Springs. It takes us 45 minutes to get there. Then we would start our ride up there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can do it. We have That'd a dash cart. That'd be a half-a-day show for sure. Because you get up there, then you do a show, then you turn around and come back. But it's a lovely ride. I yeah. do love it. Christy Ooh. says, what do we miss most Miss most about home? And Christy, that's, that's an annoying question. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> because we are home. Yeah. Home is anywhere that we are. And we've made this a home. Yeah. 
the thing about this this house, we built a master suite onto our home in Indiana in 2009. Yeah. And we designed it from scratch just the way we wanted it. Oh, yeah. And when we found this house, the bedroom and master suite is the same. That's so when we wild. moved our furniture in there, it was like we were back in Indiana, mm -hmm. in Florida. So it was the greatest, the best of both worlds, but we're home. Yeah. Jerry, could you tell Linda from her twin when uh, you first met? Do they have the same personality? They are identical twins. Linda is by far the better kisser. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no, Li they're mirror twins. Linda parted her hair mm -hmm. on the left and her sister Connie parted it on the right. Linda's left-handed, Connie's right-handed. Um, yeah. But they, they were very similar and both were quite beautiful. Oh, we were. <laughs> I mean, we're not now. So don't, don't even say anything to her because no, she's no. she's she's begging for attention here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't really like all the attention. <laughs> she wouldn't say a word. I'll tell you a story real quick. Oh, probably, no. probably. Um, I'm going to call it 20 years ago. Okay. They our school system had probably a thousand teachers, mm -hmm. and they were half elementary and half secondary high school teachers. And they had a meeting in the morning for all the high school teachers and a meeting in the afternoon for the elementary teachers. And they had a guest speaker. And after the meeting, I talked to the guest speaker. I said, when you give the afternoon meeting, if you have to call on anybody in the audience, seek out Linda and uh, give her a call. And she would probably love to participate. He did that to me. He really did. So he did. And, yeah. And here uh, are all these teachers. Uh, and I am not really good among uh, yeah. in, in that kind of situation at all. That's when I started and, enjoying spam so much. <laughs> yeah, because I did. So Hal, fun. thank you. Thank you so much. You and Jen are, are givers. I, we appreciate it. Gizmo. He's, yeah. He's sleeping. Gizzy always, no matter what we're doing, I mean, when we set this up here today, he thought it was another Mailbag Monday, and he's right here ready to go. And so there he is. <laughs> you know, he's four, He's almost uh, 14. Be 14. Be 14, March 1st. March 1st. And he's such a good boy, and we we love to take him places. Yeah, and he's so good that we we have a lot of neighbors that are willing to watch him, and that's yeah. that makes it so nice and yeah. and easy on us. Yeah, I got to put my glasses back on. Yeah, see the coin. Oh, Roxy, she doesn't matter where we go, just as long as we take a trip together. Go, Roxy! Yay. <laughs> <laughs> And they're going on our cruise. Yeah, on we're our cruise. Yeah, to. it's gonna be fun. You know that was that's really neat. That you know we posted it on Facebook, and we don't we only wanted to take a hundred. We have hundred and twenty, but we want to keep it small so we can have a lot of personal time. Yeah. You know, because there's not really inter any entertainment with Jerry and Linda. I mean, we're not going to sing, no. No. sing or or uh, <laughs> dance or anything. So he can sing. He he is a very good singer. You guys, not anymore. It really is. <laughs> no, I like to. I'm a good shower singer. That's it. <laughs> But we're, we hope to have up close and personal time with everybody on the yes. cruise. And we will have a good time. That last one was wonderful. It was very yes. nice. I think he's trying to get up on the table. Yeah, he likes it. He's trying to see better. He's looking at the monitor. He's like, oh, I don't know they got. oh yeah. And we only have 15 more minutes, people. Then we have to say bye. I don't even know. I mean, on Zoom, there's a limit. I don't even know on Face on uh, what are we, YouTube, YouTube uh, Live, if there's a yes, limit to the time. Yes. And Valentina, that's a name. I like that. Hello, my retired teacher friends, and I follow your show in Brisbane, Australia. Brisbane. We call you our Floridian friends. That is so nice. Thank you, Valentina. I have to read Vicky's post here, and I agree with Vicky 100%. She says, for one year in Hammock at Finney, and we thank God every day for this blessing and the Morse family for their vision and commitment to this amazing place. Nowhere like it. And you know what, Vicki, I say that prayer every single day as I walk Gizmo around the block. Thank God for the Morse family and for what they have done. It yeah. is, is amazing place. And I, we found so much joy here and so, so many friends and uh, it's, it's just amazing. All the things we can do and how to make our lives better and enjoy life together. And we love it here too. Vicki, great post. Some people complain because amenity fees are rising. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not the Morse family. 
that is life. Yeah. It's, you know, the grass everywhere. cutters charge more, the flowers cost more, the electricity costs more, the to heat the pools costs more mm -hmm. than it did last year or the year before yeah. or the year before. So it goes up. We don't like it. We hate it. I mean, you know that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we the, the vision of Harold Schwartz and people say it's getting too big. You know, you only say it gets getting too big after you get your own house, you know? Yeah. So there's a need for housing and um, we, we hope that there's a continued commitment mm -hmm. to the excellence that they've given us so far. Yeah. Um, this is from Don, no, uh, Martin. And he asked, how many hours do you think it takes each week to do your shows? Well, this is going to be a breeze. I mean, other yeah. than worrying about it for a couple hours mm -hmm. and now doing it, we'll be yeah. done when it's over. It'll yeah. be done. So that's great. Mm -hmm. But a typical mailbag Monday will take me probably 10 hours before we film it. Then we'll film it and it'll probably take me six or eight hours after we film it to yeah. uh, to get it all to done. To edit and do all the so. clipping and make the blooper reel and all the other things we do yeah. with it. Jerry works very hard. He spends many hours and, but he loves it. It's, it's, uh, it's fun for him. And uh, we enjoy meeting the people and doing all the Thursday shows too, and going out into the community. So that's, a, that's kind of a fun thing for us. For sure. I'd rather work on this blog than go out and play golf. That's what's happened. <laughs> when I start playing yeah. good again, your shows are going to go down in quality. here. <laughs> no. Oh, shoot. Someone said, Jerry, stay out of the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Oh, Hal says Jen checked and the other developments, their HOAs are up to 500 bucks or so. Mm. That's probably true, Hal, but sometimes they include your garbage or your exterior maintenance, which none of that's included here. Yeah. Someone wanted us to do another Walmart uh, shopping trip. You know what? Uh, they moved everything around. It's confusing. I don't know where anything. <laughs> Yes. But yeah, I love shopping. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to take you shopping all the time because I love to shop. <laughs> Laura says, thank you for doing this, that we bring her such joy with the videos. We appreciate that. She's only in her 40s. Yeah. And she's dreaming of uh, living in the villages. Yeah, yeah. You're going to you love know, it. Yeah. you. I mean, the the oh, once in a while you get a criticism. We had one yesterday of a lady that said she'd lived here five years and it wasn't as good as it was when she moved in, oh. it is what you make it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, I can see where it's different than when we moved in. There are some things that are different, but it's really, it's our perception that's changed Yeah, because we, you're in the honeymoon. When you get here, you don't notice yes. all the pimples, you know, <laughs> after you live a while, you notice a few pimples, Yeah, but it's great. There's, I've never seen anywhere better and anywhere else that I would like to live more yeah. than here. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Gizmo is a sleepy boy. Becky, do we plan to do another video in the local Christmas shop? Probably not. We're, we're Christmased out uh, on videos. We're going to do a drive through of the neighborhood, and yeah. that'll be it. We have a Mailbag Monday coming up on December 19th, and that'll be it before Christmas. Yeah, we'll yeah. have a little Christmas there. Rich says, thank you for the hard work. Well, we appreciate it. Uh, he says... Uh, show us what you do for our Thursday show, you know, and we could, we could do that. Thank you, Nick. We appreciate it very much. Hey, Al says you probably don't recognize us. I did. I did before I read Al and Sandy, two of oh, our favorite villagers. Yay. Uh, Hi, Al. Hi, they're, Sandy. they're from Wisconsin. Yeah. Yep. They're permanent. Rick wants to know if my blood's still thinning. Rick. <laughs> yeah. It is. It mm -hmm. still is. I don't believe that by the way, but it, but it, we get cold easy here. Uh -huh. If you take a golf cart ride at night, especially right now, you're going to have to take a jacket or something. Mm -hmm. I, I think about putting long pants on when I go out at night on the golf cart. Yeah. If yeah. you get chilly, right. even though people from Wisconsin and Minnesota would think it was a heat wave. Yes. Yeah. A video of a day with Linda at Bargains and Blessings would be good. It would be good. Linda gets excited, though when she has to film something and she loses track and yeah, I'm not good. I'm not um, a videographer or whatever. No. Forgets to turn the microphones on. Uh, or, yeah. Or I have the camera faced in the wrong way. <laughs> we're working on it. Mm -mm. Teresa says her daughter and family live in Oxford. Oxford is a little community just uh, North of here. It's actually right on the edge of the villages and it's uh, Oxford Oaks is a, a village's uh, development for the people that work here mm -hmm. to be able to live right. with their children. Right. 
And Bargains have- and Blessings, Becky, is a, is a charity thrift store that benefits a local church. And it's quite a big thrift store. It is very nice. Very nice. Please come and visit us there. They're amazing people that work there and volunteer. And I enjoy that. I'm going there tomorrow. <laughs> Fran says, we have found our purpose in retirement, which studies prove is very important. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I know that, yeah. and I can see that I forget things a little bit like, uh, I'm going to look up something on my phone mm-hmm. and I forget what I'm going to look up by the time I reach my phone. Yeah. So doing things like this helps you stimulate your brain a little bit. And, and we meet so many awesome people that get to do so many cool things. So yeah, it's mm-hmm. definitely good for us. Yeah. Rebecca went back to Indiana for Thanksgiving for two weeks and couldn't wait to get back home here. Oh, That's yeah. the way we are about mm-hmm. every trip. You know, when we go out, we we're looking really forward to getting back here. Um, so when Harry asked about how our sick viewer is doing, so I don't know. We have okay. Couple. Well, you're, you're we talking about we have two of them. Mm-hmm. One was Marie Gadevsky, and she's a, a lady that's bedridden in Georgia. Mm-hmm. And you guys just yeah. stepped up to the plate, mm-hmm. and you mm-hmm. you gave her reason and purpose to keep going. And mm-hmm. she she's so thrilled with the letters and cards yes. that you've sent her, and just mm-hmm. wonderful. Actually, we have three. There's Rick. And you've, they've sent cards to Rick also. So that was. And then we have Tina, Tina Hauser. Mm-hmm. She's a, a childhood friend of Linda's and knew Linda and, and her twin sister, Connie. Back when they were young, they used we, to play we together. Were cheerleaders together. Yeah. And this poor lady has, has had some real problems and lost both of her legs. And uh, she has uh, arthritis that's really bad. So she's not only got lost her legs, but, and you guys, sent her so many cards and letters mm-hmm. and well wishes. And she wrote on her Facebook, you can look it up. She doesn't mind. Tina Hauser, H-O-U-S-E-R. And uh, you can read her reaction to what you've done. It's and reach really, out to her. Really she, nice. I know she appreciates She's that. a sweet lady. Yeah. So we thank all of you for being so kind to us and to our friends. Whose idea was the blog, Jerry or Linda? <laughs> well, if you watch Becky, uh, it was all an accident, yeah. you know, and, um, Probably still looks like an unorganized accident sometimes. <laughs> but we uh, basically sent an email of a video of our new home, and it was too big. Bounce back. So we, my son said, put it on, you, on YouTube, and I did. And people started following, and now there's almost 52,000 subscribers. And Incredible and unbelievable. We're over 13 million views, and so yeah. it's, it's going really good. Yeah. Jay says, with so much to do in the villages, how do you plan a day when there's nothing on the calendar? Oh. Those are the best ones. <laughs> That's, you know, today there's nothing on my calendar except this. So what will I do? I can work out in the garage. My garage is a mess. Mm-hmm. I went kayaking yesterday. You, you did? Know, went out kayaking. Did. Drove up to Crystal River and put the kayak in and went out looking for manatees. Found a few. And that was fun today. I'll probably watch some TV, maybe work in the garage, might work on, uh, I've got a couple of blogs that I'm working on, might try to, you know, get them yeah. lined out. So that's what I'll do. A couple of questions. Uh, Todd Grosbeck, I hope I pronounced that right. He asked, M&M's, plain or peanut? One, two, three. Peanut. I probably prefer the peanuts, but yeah. there's sometimes when you just want to cram like 40 of those other ones in your mouth. put him down. He's getting heavy. Yeah, put him down. <laughs> so so probably peanut, but I, we like them all. Hey. We like candy, as you can tell. Everybody's going to have to go on that after Christmas diet, right? Oh, don't you hate that? He also had a funny one. He said, fruitcake, dessert or doorstop? I guess it depends who baked it. Yeah. You know what? I love, love fruitcake. Now, he does not. I do. But because back in the day, I was uh, a band member, a high school band. I played the flute. And we had to sell the fruitcakes. And I, my mom always had to have one at Christmas because she supported our band. So we always had fruitcake at Christmas. And I love that. And uh, I grew to love it. Yeah. We're glad. And when you write in, and, and we know that you don't have to take time. It's going to cut off in two minutes. Is that what it said? No, but it, it, don't we get an hour last time? It I don't off. know. Remember, I, I have no it idea. It just cuts off. After By the hour. way, if we suddenly, 
disappear, you know, yeah. that we didn't cut you off. Yeah, YouTube will cut us yeah. off. I they they might. Minutes. I don't know if they will or not. We'll, we'll, we shall see. I don't think they will. But I forgot. See what I mean about the memory? I already forgot what I was saying. I'm sorry. Forget I did it. it. <laughs> was it a question from over there? Don't know. But Dan Johnson says, how about a Thursday show of churches in the villages? My son's been pushing for that. He said, Dad, do it. Come on now. If I did the Baptist, I'd have to do the Lutherans. If I did the Lutherans, I got to do the Disciples of Christ. If I do those, I got to do the Jewish community. Mm -hmm. That would be a mega show. Mega I mean, show. Yeah. or I mean, I could you could have your own blog, you know, yeah. uh, on churches. So there I don't know so that we'll ever do that. And so many opportunities to go and uh, to be a part of. Might it. do one where we interview one pastor or minister, and I'll probably make a whole bunch of others mad yeah, if we do that, so. and they could talk about the other churches in the community. Yeah. Oh, there was a good question on here. Oh, shoot. Uh, oh, do you have a favorite song? Song? Song to sing. I Well, I, my, my karaoke go-to was always Pretty Woman by Roy Orbison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I like all kinds of music. We if, were very If you could see yeah. my playlist, you would be stunned. I mean. I think you should publish this playlist. It's amazing. Playlist. Maybe I will. It's a maybe great playlist. You would all I mean, love uh, these songs. I mean, I like a song called El Mundo. <laughs> yes. And she thinks I'm crazy for like, uh, there's there's a whole bunch. And that other one by that uh, alternate group that I like, I can't remember the name of it right no, now. No, we can't remember. But yeah, we, we like a lot of we different We do things. like a lot. We, we've gone through so many phases. We did country music. We I did, love the Beatles. Um, Blue, love the Beach we did Boys. Bluegrass. We used to go to Bluegrass and, and listen to Bluegrass. Stevie music. Wonder. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, like the, yeah. the Eagles. Easy listening. Uh, oh, I love guys like Herman's Hermits and yes. uh, Jerry and the Pacemakers yes. and the, all that that era. And, and we like that new group, that uh, acapella group that, uh, what is that one group we like that we just saw not too mm. recently. Anyway, I can't remember their names. <laughs> but we, we like all kinds of music. We really do. Oh, okay, Rob Skier Music. I assume your name's Rob. Uh, you are a loyal viewer. I know I see you all the time. I will try to get that playlist together for y'all. Don't judge me after you get it. <laughs> Just play it. But what Amazon Music has got me ticked off. I had my playlist. I had 40 songs on it. It was awesome. Then I look, we're going to play one day. Boom, half of them are gone. They've now become choice. You have to, you have to pay to, to listen to those. Then a little bit later... Half of the ones that were left are gone. So I've only got just a few on there. Does that say end screen? That's been there since we started. Oh, because someone yeah. said they, they got a message that's supposed to stop at 1045. Oh, did it? So are, we, someone, are we still on? I don't know. That's why I asked about that. Okay. Tell us, people, are we still on or are they have shut us down? All right. Well, maybe we should. Uh, that's right. I'm Henry VIII. I am. <laughs> and by the way, if everything goes according to plan, I'll be interviewing Peter Noon of Herman's Hermits on January 1st. How? Pardon me? How? Yeah. You said that already? Mm -hmm. Okay. Got that. Thank you. Okay, we're still on. We're still here. So uh, maybe we should wrap this up because you're going to get sick of us. <laughs> and uh, we can save some for next time. I want to print out all these questions. We can. <laughs> and all these comments. BGs are great. Love the BGs. I like country music, man. I like uh, Diamond Rio and Alabama. Yeah, Probably country. my favorite country group is Exile. Have you listened to Exile before? We've actually met those guys. Mm -hmm. We've gone to probably five of their concerts. Exile's wonderful. We love them. Well, listen, we thank you all so much for tuning in today. We hope you had a good time. We did. Yeah. I feel like I've talked way too much, oh. but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. And when when we sign off, we're not going to have any exit music or you can, anything. You can sing, Jerry. Well, I. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all for watching. We truly do appreciate it. We love you all. Say your bit. If you liked our video today, press that like and subscribe button. Can they do that here? Anyway, uh, until next time. See you when you get here. Well, I got to go over here and push this. I think we're still on. There it is.